we will talk about top five abnormal finding in the urine and it affects around 20 percent of adult population it means if you examine urine of adult population 20 percent of them will have at least one abnormal findings and most common is hematuria hematuria means when blood is in the urine we have two types of hematuria microscopic and macroscopic macroscopic means when it's physically visible when you look at the urine with naked eye you can see blood in the urine it's macroscopic but if you need microscope to detect blood in the urine blood cells in the urine it's microscopic hematuria microscopic hematuria is more common it affects around 10 percent of adult population and most common cause of hematuria is urinary tract infections infection affects urinary tract it damages uh, urinary tract causes inflammation and this inflammation damages also blood vessels and blood leaks from blood vessels and we have hematuria uh, this blood leakage usually microscopic and not visible with naked eye but sometimes it's possible to be visible also and symptoms of urinary tract infection is burning sensation during urination increased urination frequency cloudy and smelly urine and treatment is antibiotics such as trimetoprim sulpamethoxazole for example second cause of second most common cause of hematuria is kidney stones and kidney stones literally physically damages lining of urinary tract and they cause uh, bleeding this bleeding also most commonly is not visible and it's uh, microscopic even sternal exercise can cause hematuria there is several theories for example uh, breakdown of muscles can cause hematuria and uh, breakdown of uh, blood cells during exercise especially sternos and prolonged exercise can cause hematuria but we have no exact explanation uh, second most common finding in the urine is protein in the urine protein in the urine means when proteins leaked in the urine from blood um, because in the kidney we have this filter and this filter should resist uh, pro protein leakage but if this filter is damaged or sim in simple term if kidney is damaged it can't filter this um, uh, protein and proteins leaks into urine and we have protein urea uh, protein urea can be caused by stress, exercise, fever. For example, if person has flu and fever, he or she can have protein urea. But it will be transient. It means it will be very short term for several days or for two weeks, for example, but not more. If person has persistent protein urea, it's already serious condition and usually it is caused by glomerulonephritis glomerules are filtration apparatus in the kidneys and destruction of glomerules cause glomerulonephritis and protein urea uh, most common cause of glomerulonephritis is infection uh, also autoimmune disorders causing like lupus for example and some medications also diabetic nephropathy diabetes type 2 and type 1 both can cause protein urea because during diabetes prolonged blood uh, uh, rise blood glucose level causes damage of glomerules over time it happens uh, during years usually and eventually causes uh, diabetic nephropathy and diabetic uh, nephropathy causes protein urea it damages also kidneys uh, and leukocyturia is third most common finding it means white blood cells in the urine and white blood cells, the cells in, in the urine usually is caused by urinary tract infections 
And second most common cause is pyelonephritis. Pyelonephritis actually is more severe form of urinary tract infection, which is accompanied by fever usually and causes more pain um, compared to just uh, mild urinary tract infection. And it can be caused also by interstitial cystitis. Uh, inter interstitial cystitis is inflammation of bladder which is chronic condition causes pain and pressure sensation um, and also in some cases but much rare cases leukocyturia can be caused by kidney tuberculosis or kidney cancer or urinary tract cancers but such cases are rare so first thing when patient comes and no red flags and no serious risk factors of course we don't think about kidney cancer for example especially if person is younger and no important risk factors and glucosuria is another cause uh, of ab abnormal finding in the urine it's when glucose is in the urine and it usually indicates diabetes if person have glucose in the urine it strong sign of diabetes because glucose should be around 180 and more milligram deciliter to cause glucose in the urine so if diabetes is uncontrolled person can have glucosuria it's common among diabetic people um, whose glucose level is not well controlled and ketonuria is another finding abnormal finding which means ketone bodies is in the urine and uh, ketonuria happens when person is on keto diet or person uh, uh, person uh, not gets enough carbohydrates and body is in ketotic state or during starvation also a person refused to eat for example it can he or she can have ketonuria or diabetic ketoacidosis diabetic ketoacidosis is very serious condition usually occurs during type 1 diabetes and usually person is informed about type 1 diabetes but ketonuria can be also uh, and diabetic ketoacidosis can be first finding when person uh, does not know that he or she have type 1 diabetes it can be uh, it can be first sign also for him for him or her uh, that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.